Hi again from Montreal. Wanted to make this last video with this particular test unit to demonstrate a point and answer a question that was posed as a comment in the original Mayor Nick lift video by Archer Quinn. The user Hal Putoff asked the question, can your can your magnetic array lift from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock and go over the top? And he says that if you can do this, it's the holy grail of over unity. Or that's how I interpret his comment anyway. But the point is that Archer Quinn has shown us lift from 10 to 12 over the top and break the wall at 3. And a lot of people have asked, what about going from 6 to 12 and over the top? And I'm here to show you today that although you can do that, once you get over the top and back to the other side, there's not enough energy in the magnetic array to break the wall. And if there was, I mean, think about it. Let me change the focus here a bit. Think about it. We could rise from 6 to 12, go over the top, and break the wall anywhere on this side. Then falling down with gravity, we would make a restart on the cycle. That would be the holy grail of over unity. In fact, rising from 6 to 12 and breaking the wall anywhere on this side would still allow you to fall back to the beginning of the start array and go over the top. But that's not going to happen. So let me show you here, demonstrate. This is what Archer Quinn has shown us. Lift from 10, over the top, back down around, and out to break here, the wall, with, with a considerable amount of excess seemingly energy. But in fact, as you can see, the wall on the other end breaks very easy. There's two walls on, on, on there's on every magnetic array like this. The entry point sucks you in, the exit pulls you back, doesn't want to let you go. And it's the same thing if you go this way or you go the other way. You have sucking in here and pulling you back on the other end. So again, this is what Archer Quinn has shown us. A rise from 10 o'clock over the top and back down the other side to break the wall. Simple stuff. And so the question many people have asked is, what about going from 6 to 12 over the top and breaking the wall on the other side? So this wheel does the same thing. we we'll go to the bottom here. No push, just let go. Goes over the top and back around to the other side here. But there's not enough energy to break the wall on the other side. And this is the same array where we see lift from 10 over the top and break the other side. The same magnetic array that's that, that's showing us lift over the top and break the wall just doesn't have enough oomph to get back over the top and break the wall. And if it did break the wall anywhere here, you'd fall back down into the beginning of the array. Even with a minimal amount of energy, you'd have a restart on the cycle and, the, and, 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 and you would have perpetual motion. So. I'd also like to add that I'm not out of magnets. I have more magnets. It's not that I can't extend this. It's not going to make any difference. And in fact, adding more magnets here on the end changes both sides of the array so that you don't get lift over the 12. But even with the lift over the 12, as you can see, not enough energy over the top and to the other side to break through the wall. No matter how powerful the magnets are, it's never going to happen. Because if it did, we'd have over unity we'd be able to come up the top, over the box, break the wall, fall back down into the start of the array. Just not going to happen. I don't think that any amount of play is going to change anything. The magnets that are driving this rotor is at 35, uh, this is a 35 pound pull. This is a 50 pound pull. Powerful magnets together. They make one magnet. They're in this rotor. So, as you can see, it has, the pos it has the power to lift through the 12 and over the top, but not enough power to break the wall once that's done. 
And this is what Archer Quinn is showing us. Lift from 10, back around, break the wall. Very easy. Lift from 10, back around, break the wall. So, there we have it, in a nutshell. I I would like to add also that, you know, I am not a, I'm not doing this to be against Archer Quinn. In fact, I am for Archer Quinn. I would love to see this concept, this magnetic array, break the wall and restart its own cycle. It would be the holy grail of over unity. It would be something we could all build in our backyard. But as you can see, I don't think it's going to happen. So somebody prove me wrong. <laughs>